Hi everybody, it's Tom here with another motoring news update. Mercedes has finally lifted the veil from its first all-electric compact crossover, the EQA, and we have some very exciting details to share. So how does the design of the EQA set it apart from other Mercedes SUVs? What are the big differences between the three different trim levels? And most importantly, when will it launch in the UK and will it break the bank? Let's take a closer look. Let's start by taking a look at the design of the EQA, which combines both old and new influences. It shares a lot in common with Mercedes' first electric vehicle, the EQC, as well as its combustion-powered sibling, the GLA. The EQA uses a strengthened version of the GLA's platform as its base to support the weight of the electric motor and battery pack. Styling tweaks that differentiate it from the GLA include full LED headlights, the black panel EQ radiator grille that will appear on all new EQ models going forward, lighting strips that run along the front and rear, and a new tailgate design that merges the tail lights into a single light bar. The EQA adopts an overall smoother shape in comparison with the GLA to maximize the electric range and improve aerodynamics. Indeed, the EV has a drag coefficient of just 0.28, which is about the same as the Lexus IS. This is the result of the car's completely closed floor and aero optimized wheels, which we'll talk more about later. Oh, and it has a 340 litre boot, which should be more than enough for the weekly shop. It's time to explore the different variants the EQA offers. While UK specifications have yet to be 100% confirmed, it will launch in Europe with three different trim levels, each offering varying degrees of equipment. Only a single powertrain option will be available from launch, however it will be joined later down the line by a performance all-wheel drive version and a version with an improved range. The entry-level progressive variant is equipped with 18-inch light alloy wheels, electrically adjustable luxury seats with lumbar support, a multifunction leather sports steering wheel, 64-colour ambient lighting system and a reversing camera to make parking a breeze. In terms of tech, you will be treated to safety features like lane keep assist and brake assist, as well as the latest MBUX infotainment system that will be offered with either two 7-inch displays or two 10.25-inch widescreens, which you can voice control using Mercedes Me. Sadly, it is very unlikely that the EQA will be getting the impressive hyperscreen display Mercedes showed off at the very beginning of this year, which comes as standard with the upcoming EQS. It's essentially three massive screens set into a single piece of glass that runs along the dashboard. However, the EQA also comes with its own impressive tech features, notably the Electric Intelligence Navigation System. This not only calculates the most efficient route to your desired destination, it uses range simulations to account for charging stops, as well as variables such as weather, traffic and driving style, so you'll no longer have an excuse as to why you were late for a meeting or dinner with the family. Plus, it can even precondition the battery to ensure it's at optimum charging temperature when you arrive at a charging point, or as Mercedes would prefer, one of its 450,000 chargers across 31 countries. The mid-range and extravagantly named Electric Art variant adds a few welcome additions, such as rose gold embellishments on the seats, a Nappa leather steering wheel, and upgrades the 18-inch alloys to two-tone 10-spoke wheels. As mentioned earlier, we'll just have to wait and see if this version comes to the UK. The AMG line version will almost certainly be hitting our roads though, given the trim's popularity across other Mercedes models in the UK. Expect the usual AMG branded floor mats inside this variant, in addition to sports seats, a redesigned radiator grille and a small rear diffuser. Are you thinking about getting a new vehicle this year, but are worried about import tax being added to the price? To find out more about how car prices will be affected by the UK leaving the EU, look no further than our informative article. Now let's take a look at the EQA's powertrain and performance. As highlighted earlier, only the EQA 250 will be available from launch, which combines a 66.5 kilowatt hour battery pack with a single electric motor to deliver 188 brake horsepower and 375 newton meters of torque. Thanks to this power, the EQA can accelerate from 0 to 62 miles per hour in 8.9 seconds and reach a top speed of 99 miles per hour. 
How far can it go on a single charge? Well, it promises a WLTP all-electric range of 265 miles, and the battery can be recharged for 0-80% in around 30 minutes using an 100 kilowatt DC charger. If you'd prefer the slow and steady approach with an 11 kilowatt AC charger, a full charge from 0% will take around 6 hours. A twin motor all-wheel drive performance variant will join the 250 soon, which is expected to output up to 268 brake horsepower and 500 newton meters of torque, and go from 0 to 62 miles per hour in just 5 seconds. We're waiting on a release date for this version, so keep your eyes peeled. There will also be a 310 mile range version of the EQA, which achieves this not by swapping out the battery, but rather through efficiency tweaks. We're unsure whether this version will lose some of the equipment featured in other EQA variants as a result. So this all sounds well and good, but how much will it cost? Well, in Europe, prices start from just over €47,500, which equates to around £42,000 in the UK. However, pricing hasn't been officially confirmed here yet. If it's under the £50,000 mark, this means it will be eligible for the government's plug-in hybrid grant, knocking £3,000 off of that starting price, and you won't have to wait too long as it will be available to order in the UK in February. So let us know down below in the comments what you make of the EQA. Are you a fan of its design? And which trim level would you go for personally? We'd love to hear your thoughts, guys. Is it time you got a new car this year? How about a brand new Mercedes? Or perhaps you want to find out what all the fuss is about with electric vehicles? Whatever your requirements, OSV is here to help you find the perfect car that ticks every box. We supply every make and model available in the UK, so reach out to our friendly team today via the link above or the link in the description. If you enjoyed today's motoring update, you know the drill. Smash that like button, subscribe to the channel for more motoring news and the latest car reviews. And once you're subscribed, remember to click the bell above to be notified as soon as new videos go live. And to find out more about the five other EQ vehicles Mercedes plans to launch by the end of 2022, your next destination should be this past Behind the Wheel episode. And that's all from me today, folks. Many thanks for watching this episode. I will see you next week, but in the meantime, take care and safe driving.